We begin with the arrest of an Oakland homicide detective potentially putting all of the cases he worked on in jeopardy. Good evening. I'm Elizabeth Cook. What a story. I'm Reed Cowan. So Officer Fong Tran is accused of lying under oath while testifying in one of those cases. Wilson Walker is live in Oakland with details and the immediate pushback from the police. Well, the two murder convictions in this case were thrown out last year when an eyewitness came forward again, this time to recant. Now the officer facing two felony charges, or sorry, two perjury charges, and more than 100 cases now under review. Detective Tran admitted that he had previously known a key witness in a murder trial and had been paying that person with his own money to be a confidential informant. The confidential informant later stated that she did not actually witness the murder. It was just before Christmas 2011, Charles Butler shot and killed on his way home from the store, allegedly because he had accidentally bumped someone's car. And as he's trying to pull forward to correct himself, he nudged or hit the, um, the, pa the driver's side uh, the bumper. It had no damage, uh, there no damage to his vehicle. That was Officer Fong Tran pleading for witnesses to come forward, and ultimately one did, claiming to have witnessed the shooting. The case went to trial in 2016, but then the witness later retracted her story and said she had actually known the detective for several months prior to the shooting, taking money as an informant. And because of his actions, my office now has to review at least 125 other cases that Detective Tran investigated to see if we have wrongfully convicted anyone else. Please be reminded that we will not be addressing any questions regarding Officer Tran. Oakland police who did take questions on a string of recent shootings would only say they are cooperating with the district attorney's office. The Oakland Police Officers Association had this response. Bottom line, this is an effort to get folks who've committed murder out of jail. That's it. Pushing back against the charges, union president Barry Donilon. Yeah, ultimately, this veteran homicide investigator will be vindicated and he'll be cleared in a court of law. But what this is, the, the real rationale behind the DA's actions is all about ensuring folks who've been convicted of murder are pushed back onto the street. This is what this is, plain and simple. Okay, uh, the, the district attorney uh, not taking questions, uh, issuing the video statement as she's been doing lately there. As you saw, as for the 125 cases that get reviewed, they will be done along with a partnership with the Northern California Innocence Project. Liz, back to you. Some time, and what's the latest with Tram? What's his status? Well, he... Uh, as, we, as far as we know, he is not in custody yet. Okay. Uh, at last check, we have not seen his name pop up. Uh, so as far as we know, he has not turned himself in yet. All right. Wilson Walker, thanks so much.